Recently, a student of a C programming course that I teach asked me why, when displaying addresses like this, the number shown is sometimes negative. Now, I should say here that the recommended way to display addresses is to use percent %p format specifiers, that's in the C language, to show the address in hexadecimal format, rather than percent %d, which shows it in decimal format, but sometimes percent %d is useful because, for those of us who don't think in hexadecimal, it looks more like an ordinary number. And when comparing two addresses, such as the offsets of the elements in an array, it's much simpler to count the number of bytes in decimal than in hexadecimal. Anyway, back to the problem. Sometimes the number shown is in minus figures. Now, why is that? The answer is that it's nothing to do with the fact that we're displaying an address. It's all to do with the fact that it's a big number. And that's why only some addresses that happen to be high enough up in memory, get displayed as negative values. This can also happen in other programming languages, by the way, even though here I'm going to explain the problem using C. Look, here I want to display the integer 214-748-3647. And sure enough, that's what is displayed. OK, so how about this? 214748 3648. This time, minus 214-748-3648 is what's displayed. So it seems to be the expected number, but as a negative value. Hmm. Well, what would happen if I add one more to the number? 214-748-3649. Will that show its own negative value too? Well, let's see. The answer is no, it doesn't. This time I see minus 214-748-3647. And in fact, if I carry on adding one to this big number, the value displayed is always a negative value which increases by one compared to the previous negative value in this list. So clearly something strange happens when the number I want to display is greater than this one, which suggests that there is something special about that number. And indeed there is. If I turn to Microsoft's C documentation, all is revealed. This is the maximum value for an integer. Now, since a simple int data type can't exceed that value, when I try to do so in my code, the result is that the value wraps around to the data type's minimum. It can't go any higher because the data type is not capable of storing higher values. So it goes back to the lowest value supported by the data type, which here is this. And as I start counting up beyond its highest possible value, the computer counts up from the lowest possible value for that data type. This, in fact, is true for all signed data types, that is, types that may have negative values. So if you get unexpected values for shorts, longs, etc., be sure to check if you've exceeded the valid range for that data type. This is even true for the char data type, which has a range from negative 128 to positive 127. Here, I give the char variable C the value 65. 65 in the ASCII table is an uppercase A. And, unsurprisingly, when I run the program, an uppercase A is what's displayed. But if I give C the value 128, which is greater than the maximum value of a char, when I run the program, minus 128 is what's displayed, and it produces an unexpected character. That's all because 
128, the value I've assigned to the char is bigger than the value which a char is capable of holding. I've gone over the upper limit of its range of values. And when I try to go above the upper limit, I end up wrapping around back to the lower limit. The lowest possible value for a char is minus 128. Now, this is never a good thing. Some languages might warn you when a value exceeds a range, but by default, C does not warn you. The moral of this story is that data type ranges are important. If you go beyond them, the results may not be what you expect. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos.